A farm on your rooftop would have been ridiculous 10 years ago, but now it's an actual hype to be an urban farmer. Today we talk to the designers of Acre, a website on which you can download urban farming tools. So guys, is it true that you can just download a, a, a worm farm or a chicken coop? Yes, or a plant bed, or a wool planter, or a... Aaron, do you want to help me here? What else? Yes. I've, <laughs> I've, yes. Um, <laughs> we do, uh, we, we supply a number of um, urban farming tools that you can essentially download the file, uh, similar to another project we've done called the Open Source Beehives Project. You download this file, you take it to something called a CNC router machine, which are common in uh, urban areas, and you plug it into that machine, and you can cut each of these tools out of a, a single sheet of plywood. Um, they're all flat packable, and you can shove them in the boot of your car, drive them home, and then when you get home, you can assemble them without needing any sorts of screws or glues or anything like that. They just kind of lock together, kind of like an IKEA kit for urban farming. And if we think about food, can we make a, a complete dinner on your balcony from seed to plate? Yeah, you can make a huge variety of things. Lots of produce, you can grow herbs. Um, you can even make fresh honey in your backyard. And we have a chicken coop that houses enough um, space for two hens. So you can get about three eggs every two days and have a steady supply of nice yummy breakfast. Why do you think urban farming is becoming so popular in big cities? I think people are starting to wake up to the fact that um, the industrialized food system, which we've been relying on now for the past 50 or so years, um, is profit motivated and not health motivated. And therefore, the stuff we're eating is killing us. Not, not even, you know, figuratively, it is literally killing us. It's causing all sorts of health epidemics. Um, so people uh, are responding totally understandably by wanting to become more active in producing their own food, having control over what they're eating, what they're feeding their families, and also just reconnecting with nature in a way that you don't really get the chance to a lot in an urban environment. Um, so it, it kind of ticks all these boxes for the new wave of more environmentally um, minded and health conscious generation that we're, we're, we're going through today. Thanks for joining us guys. And if you know what, want to know more on Acre or know, see more items with Tristan and Aaron, go to interconnection.com.